Ready? Ah! I can't cross the threshold first. You go. It's your business. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is crazy. Okay, business owner. Ready? Sure. It's really weird doing an introduction to a video with you next to me. Yeah, I stopped <laughs> being in the room for these because you made it weird. I know, I know, I'm really, really awkward on camera. Hey friends, it's Sam from DIY Huntress and this is my other half. What's your name? Chris, <laughs> not from DIY Huntress. <laughs> Okay, wait, take two, take two. Hey guys, my name's Chris from DIY Huntress. Done, you got the take. Do not put that in. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm gonna just zoom in on you going like this. Where do I look? Do I look at you? Look at, do I look you, at the camera? Whatever, wherever you want. Over the past few months, we've been working. So stop laughing at me. This is a disaster. Over the past few months, we've been working super hard to transform an empty and actually kind of outdated retail space into a bike shop for this guy. Outdated is an understatement. It's not outdated anymore though. Decrepit. There's every synonym under the word decrepit. That's what this, that's what this space was. Are you looking up synonyms for decrepit? I think decrepit is the perfect word. All right, decrepit. We're using the word decrepit. So after months of hard work, the space is finally ready. And today is the day that we get to share it with everyone. <laughs> Over these past few months, I've been sharing small updates on the channel. Oh, I didn't realize you were chewing. I was eating. Over the past few months, we have been sharing updates on the channel. <laughs> it's an elevator. <laughs> oh, I gotta try the stairs. I'm gonna take the escalator back up though. Yes, please. Oh, welcome back. Thanks. Over the past few months, we have been sharing a couple of updates on the channel here and there, but today is the day that we finally get to share the entire renovation from start to finish. So that being said, let's get started. You said you were gonna say, let's get started. But you just said it. So that being said, let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, friends, so let's start at the very beginning. So some of this footage may look familiar if you have been following along on this retail build out slash DIY Huntress Ghost commercial journey on my channel. But as you can see, we are starting with, as Chris put it, this decrepit space. The ceilings, the floors, the walls, the whole space just needed so much work. So the day that Chris and I got the keys, we went on in there and started planning and taking measurements. And although I was able to get a ton of this build done for Chris, honestly, the entire vision of the store really, really was his. And I was just there to help make it come to life. And I cannot wait to show you what it looks like because I feel like we crushed it. But before I get too ahead of myself, let's start with a little project plan as well as a run through of the layout of the store. I have this like builder's bucket list and one of those things on my builder's bucket list has always been to build out and design a retail space. And here we are. Ah. Okay, I have my helper Jordan today, yay! This is the retail space that we are working in. It is 1,350 square feet. For reference, Jordan is, how tall are you? 5'10", and he's standing in that back corner. So 11 foot tall ceilings with the drop ceiling. We actually haven't figured out what we're doing with the drop ceiling yet, but for the rest of the store, we have a pretty solid idea. So let's do a little tour. So this is the front entrance. When you walk in, there's my cute truck. When you walk in, this is going to be a bike shop. So when you walk in, the front counter is going to be right here. I'm building an L-shaped counter with a live edge countertop. Of course, I'm building with a live edge countertop. Then it gets a little funky over here. So in this space here, this is going to be a fit studio, which is where athletes will come to get fit on bicycles. So we're going to be building a giant wall right there that's going to kind of box in this area here with a long piece of glass for the fit studio on this side giant brick accent wall we've already gotten the panel so we're getting started on that today right 
and the bikes will be the bikes will be displayed on this wall back there is going to be the shop for the bike mechanics and then behind there is the bathroom so right now it's a pretty blank canvas which is awesome but that also means there's so much work so as much as i'm excited i'm also like low-key very terrified to do this project because we're on a budget and we're on a timeline and there are definitely some things in here that i'm contracting out for example the floors are so gnarly so i am getting a concrete guy in here to deal with that because i don't know the first thing about dealing with a floor like this. I will learn though, this is my first build out. But most of the other work I'm gonna be doing myself along with family members like Jordan. My dad may make an appearance at some point. My other half will be here and we have some friends that are willing to help as well. So this is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna be fun. But we gotta get started on this project, don't we? I wish I could talk to you guys forever. This is great procrastination, but it's time to get to work. So let's do this. All right, so if you've been following along in this retail build-out series, then you will know exactly which project we started with first because we started with the faux brick accent wall. This is going to be a giant wall for lots and lots of bikes to be displayed in this bike shop, and it is one of the biggest projects that Chris asked for in this space. Now, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about this project because I have a dedicated video for this particular project already living on my channel. I will link it below this video for you to check out if you're interested. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when this project was originally staying as an 11 and a half foot tall project, it felt pretty manageable, but things ended up changing. I mean, spoiler alert, Chris just ripped the entire drop ceiling down one day when I left him alone for like literally two hours. So at some point, this wall did become a 16 foot tall wall. I will tackle that in a little bit in this video. And that's when the project became pretty overwhelming, but I will say it was definitely worth all of the hard work. But before we get to that part of the video and while Chris and I behind the scenes in this edit of the video continue putting up these brick panels, I do want to take a moment moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Zyro. With the shop up and running, we've been working on getting our online presence up and running as well with a professional and affordable website from Zyro. Zyro is a website builder that lets anyone create an awesome website and launch an online store with no coding or web design needed. In the last video in this retail store series, we started creating our website with the help of a pre-made template on Zyro's website. And over these past few weeks, we've been able to easily customize it by swapping out the text and images on the template with our own writing and our own photos. The drag and drop and custom color features have made it super easy to create a professional looking website that matches with the vibe of the bike shop. And we've been able to get it done super quickly, even while juggling multiple jobs along with this build. Even cooler, now that the shop is complete, I was able to take some photos of the renovated space and products and drag and drop them into our brand new website. Not only has it been super easy to create a homepage for the shop, but Zyro's platform allowed us to add as many pages as we needed for the services that are available in the bike shop, such as repairs, bike fits, and sales. We can even set up an e-commerce page in the future to sell any items from the bike shop to potential customers around the country. And no worries about running into any snags with the site or potential customers because Zyro's customer service is available to us 24 seven with live chat support, which is honestly awesome because I'm not really the best when it comes to tech. We honestly could not recommend this service enough and are so excited to launch the official website along with this video. In fact, we've linked the full up and running website in the video description below. So please go check it out if you're interested. If you're interested in building your very own website with Zyro, you can use my limited time offer to help get you started. Just follow the link in my bio or use code DIYHuntress to get an exclusive discount plus a custom domain and four months free with any yearly plan. But now that I've shared this finished website and some sneak peeks at the final reveal, let's finish up this build. Last week, I've been in my shop building the bases for the countertops. And as I was there, some real life movie magic was happening in here. Look how good it looks. So since I've been here last, really, the floors were done. Brought in someone to do that. So we have some beautiful polished concrete floors. Drop ceiling is gone, which means that this project here just went from an 11 and a half foot tall project to about a 16 foot tall project. So. I'm gonna need a couple more boards, but man, it looks so good in here. Still so much work to get done, but now that the floors are done, we can move forward on a whole bunch of projects and I'm so excited. So like, let's get started. 
All right, so at this point in the project, it was time for me to start installing the counters that basically took me three months to build. So I'm not gonna be covering that in detail in this video. I do have a full video on my channel of these countertop builds. They turned out really awesome. If you're interested in seeing them from full start to finish, definitely go check out that video. I will link it below this video for you. But that being said, now comes the fun part for this video because it's things I haven't covered yet in this build with you all by my side. So here we go. At this point, the ceiling was obviously ripped down by Chris. Thank you very much. Honestly though, great idea. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend ripping down drop ceilings when the ceiling underneath that ceiling looks the way this one does. But as you can see, we did get our hands on some scaffolding. And at this point, it was time to focus on making that ceiling look a little prettier with a fresh coat of paint. Okay, today's a big day because last time I checked in, the floors were done, we covered them, so we didn't ruin them. And the ceiling had been ripped out thanks to that guy over there. Left him alone for like two hours, ripped it all down, but it looks dope. So the electrician came in, finished cleaning up all the wires and the ceiling, and today is ceiling painting day. So we'll see how this goes. So before we got too hyped about painting the ceiling, one thing we really wanted to do was remove all of the old insulation from the ductwork because we also wanted to paint the ductwork to match the rest of the ceiling and totally blend in. This honestly did not affect the heating and cooling system at all and it was totally worth it. Hey, come do a catwalk for me. Let me see you. Let me see you strut. Uh, uh. Looking good. Woo! I feel like I'm at New York Fashion Week. Yes. <laughs> okay. So very quick, funny story. Chris was so stoked about painting the ceiling and I not so secretly hate painting ceilings. So I was like, yeah, totally. You could do it. Sure. Go ahead. Take one for the team. So after he suited up and got up there after about 30 minutes of spraying the ceiling, he was so over it. But honestly, he crushed it. It looks so good. Once Chris finished painting that ceiling, it was time to move on to the now 16 foot tall faux brick accent wall. And this was a total team effort. So while Chris's partners put up some of the panels, we then worked on filling all of the seams, the joint compound and making the wall look rustic and natural before Chris then busted out that sprayer one more time and painted the entire wall white to match the aesthetic of the rest of the store. We then let that wall dry for a bit before bringing in the ultimate dream team to start building walls in the space for the fit studio and for the repair shop. So spoiled today, look. I have help. So I have Eric and my dad working on the wall. Chris is working on some painting. I'm working on the uh, countertops. I'm not my dad. Never a dull moment working with my dad. He is the best, but let's move forward. So the guys were super hard at work at this point, getting all of the walls up and doing some drywall work and also some painting. And it was really awesome having all of these hands on deck because it made this part of the project go so much faster. And while the guys were busy working on all that fun stuff, I was busy finishing up the counters in the front of the store and also in the back of the store. Ugh, watching this makes everything look so easy and so streamlined, but this project was so labor intensive. We really worked our butts off to get this space ready. But once those counters were done and the walls were up, it was time to start focusing on some finishing touches, including hanging slot wall for some products. And we also called in a pretty epic local custom welder to make a bike display. We also had a couple of leftover cutoffs from the countertop project. So we used them to make some shelves for some smaller items to display at the cash wraps, as well as used a bigger portion as a desk for Chris's new fit studio. Eventually the Fit Studio got some custom glass as well. And at that point it was time to really start outfitting the bike shop to get it ready for its big grand opening. We put literal blood, sweat and tears into this shop build out and were able to open right before the holiday season, which was really awesome for Chris's new small business. Ready? <laughs> you can go in first this time.
This space has come such a long way from the decrepit condition that it was in when we first got the keys. And now it just looks like this gorgeous industrial and modern bike shop. Speaking from experience, it is not easy to follow your dreams and open your own business, especially, especially a brick and mortar business during a pandemic. But I am so proud of Chris for following his dreams. He has been dreaming of having his own bike shop for longer than I've even known him, which is like 13 years at this point. So this is so huge for him and I am so, so excited for him and his new journey. This project took a total village and we are so grateful for all of the help that we had along the way. And I am just so happy that we were able to make his vision come to life. While this is the end of my commercial retail build out journey, it is the beginning of so many fun projects on the channel, especially because we closed on our house pretty much around the same time that we closed on this store. So I do hope that you will subscribe and stick around for more projects very, very soon. But in the meantime, friends, thank you all so much for your love and your support. Thank you for cheering on Chris as he begins this new journey into being a small business owner. I will see you all very soon for a new project on the channel, but in the meantime, friends, happy DIYing.